Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about frat tips that I wish I knew before college. Going out, that whole lifestyle is obviously a huge part of college. I go to Penn State University. Frats are huge there, so I thought I would give some of my best tips for those going into college who have never experienced the frat life before. When I'm referring to different beverages, I am talking strictly about apple juice, so don't think otherwise. Buckle up. It's interesting. First off, we gotta talk about the pre-game. Pre-gaming is definitely something that I would recommend. Definitely don't rely on the frats for drinks because frats either one, don't have drinks or two, they have shitty drinks. Like for me, I'm not a huge... <laughs> so for me, going to a frat and like having to drink like that doesn't sound good unless I already have a couple apple juices down in my system. So that being said, my number one tip is to just buy a bunch of handles and mixers. It's gonna save you a lot of money. Drinking gets expensive in college, I'm not even gonna lie, because if you're going through like more than a case a weekend, that's like 20 bucks. Just finding like a simple handle, something that like mixes well with things is super handy because you can either like or you can like mix it with like Gatorade or Mio and water or lemonade mix, like literally whatever you want. And you can make so many more drinks instead of having the one drink you would have if you bought a case and also, it's healthier and also it saves you money. I'm a huge advocate of the handle and mixer lifestyle. You got all the apple juice in your system, and now it is time to move on to outfits. So I'm going to be doing a whole different video about like clothes you should bring for college and things like that, but for now, I think it's super important to note that every single girl needs a pair of black jeans. You are gonna wear them to no end. I feel like black jeans are probably the most common at the frats just because they go with literally every single top. I literally could wear this top right now, wear some black jeans and call it a fit. I also think it's important to note that you should not wear white to a frat. It's kind of like asking to get dirty. Like I know certain frats have like white themed parties that's kind of different. I would definitely not recommend white jeans. I feel like I did that once for some sort of like theme. I like heavily regretted it. Just like steer clear of white, don't wear white, it's not worth it. In the winters, you're gonna want a fracket. So basically this is like a cheap jacket you can wear to the frats, like you don't give a fuck about. So if it gets dirty, stolen, whatever, like you don't care. Um, I would recommend shopping at like Walmart, Shein, TJ Maxx, anything. I know some people have like Sherpa jackets. I wouldn't recommend that because sometimes you have to like hide your jacket in a bush and like it's gonna like get all like grassy and muddy and like wood chippy, like you don't want that. But I know some people just have like cheap puffers from like Shein or Amazon or like Walmart I know has some. I didn't have a frat kit because I knew that like on my way out, like I wouldn't remember to pick it up and like that whole thing. But a lot of my friends had frat kits. You can just hide these things like literally anywhere, like under a car, under a bush, like literally anything. Just like remember to pick it up on your way home or else you're gonna waste your money, which is why I'm saying buy a cheap frat kit. If you go to a cold school like me and you refuse to walk to the frats because you don't have a frat kit, you're gonna wanna save some money for Ubers. For me, I like to Uber there and then walk home because the walks home are just always so much fun. You meet so many fun people. Um, you stop for some meals. It's just always so fun. So I like to Uber to the frats. Therefore, I need a lot of money for Uber. I probably spent like 100 bucks a month on Ubers just like going to the frats. So you're gonna wanna save some money for that. Talking about money, you're also gonna wanna save money for meals while you are intoxicated. Those just like hit this. Like everyone stops at like DP Doe, El Jefe, if you go to Penn State, such good stuff but you're gonna wanna save the money because again, that adds up. If you're going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's like 10, 20, 30, 40. Kind of going back to outfits and things, you're gonna want some cheap frat tops. I would say splurge on like one or two nice tops, but after that, I would just recommend getting cheaper tops. I know Shein's a huge one, Fashion Nova, Forever 21, H&M. Just like cheaper websites. I know it's supporting fast fashion, which kind of sucks, but maybe you could buy them secondhand from like Poshmark. My camera's falling, that's cute. Um, but for me, I like to wear something like maybe twice and then I'm ready to like chuck it or like sell it, give away something. So I'm not gonna spend $100 on a top and then wear it once and be like, all right, who wants this? Bye, because that's like a waste of my time and money. A lot of girls have like a communal frat bin. Like I knew like I had all access to my friend Brittany's like closet because she had so many fun tops. So just like be prepared for other people to like want to borrow your tops and things. Um, My next tip is just to have your hair up the frats because it gets hot and sweaty. You're not gonna want to have your hair like fucking blown out nice and looking pretty. And maybe you will, maybe you're just built diff, but for me personally, like my hair is always gonna be up in a ponytail nine times out of 10. That's personal preference, that's completely up to you. But for me, I like having my hair up and out of my face because I don't want my hair like sticking to my skin as I'm dancing on the fucking elevated surface. If you are gonna bring a hair tie or like a claw clip or something, definitely put it like on your person, like clip it on something, wear it on your wrist, do whatever. Do not bring a bag to a frat because a lot of frats simply just like won't let you in and even if they do, like where are you gonna put it? Kind of talking about bags and things, I don't know like the technical details behind it, but I just know like a lot of frats are not a fan of bringing like bottles and things in. Um, You can definitely stick it in your back pocket if you really needed to, but a lot of frats will say no bottles, so just like don't bring them unless you want to like stick it in your back pocket. It is also important to talk about darties. Darties are a completely different vibe. Nine times out of 10, a darty is more casual than like an actual like night out. Like for darties, you can wear like literally whatever you want. I know a lot of girls wear like leggings, like blazers or like Converse, something like a, a small top and like a puffer jacket in the winter and call it a day. Like it's really not 
anything special. You would never catch me dead wearing leggings like out at night, but like at a Darty, it's fine. Super casual, cute, sunglasses are a huge thing. I love having sunglasses at a Darty, makes me feel like hot shit. Why? Couldn't tell you. But yeah, Darties are such good happy vibes. Just like wear whatever you want with your friends, show up, whatever. Um, some Darties you can bring your own bottles into, but again, just to be safe, just like put it in your back pocket and like walk in. Meet people in the bathroom. So many fun people I've met in the bathroom. I remember my first time out. I have a selfie with like five of my friends and like five random bitches. Have I seen them ever again? No, but it was fun for the moment. You talk, you're like, oh my god, hey, you're like, where are you from? Where do you live? Oh my god, you live in the East? That's so funny. Like, dumb shit like that. So fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all my frat tips. If I have any more, I'll definitely like insert them in at some point throughout the video, but that's all I can think of right now. Um, frats are pretty self-explanatory, but I do kind of think that some of these things freshmen don't really know. Yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time I post. Peace out. This